the domain is the set of all the possible outputs that the function can take. Now, you cannot divide by zero, so we're going to set the denominator of f of x equal to zero to eliminate the values for which the function is undefined. 1 minus x squared is equal to 0. Difference of two perfect squares. 1 plus x times 1 minus x. Therefore, it's either x equal to negative 1 or x equal to 1. So the domain for f of x is the real number set minus 1 and negative 1. g of x is equal to square root of x and the radicand must be greater than or equal to 0 for the function to exist. So the domain for g of x is the set of all x such that x is greater than or equal to 0. For h of x, the radicand x minus 1 must be strictly greater than 0. Can't be negative and cannot be equal to 0 either. When we solve it, x is strictly greater than 1. So the domain of h of x is the set of all x such that s x is strictly greater than 1. p of t equal to 2t plus 1 is a polynomial function. This is the equation of a line. And polynomial functions are everywhere defined. So the domain is all real numbers. To find the domain of f of x equal to 1 over square root of 1 minus x, we're going to set 1 minus x strictly greater than 0. Cannot be negative and cannot be 0 either, otherwise it will be undefined. When we add x to both sides, we get 1 strictly greater than x, which means that x is strictly less than 1. So the domain of f of x is the set of all x such that x is strictly less than 1. In interval notation, open parenthesis, negative infinity, comma, one, close parenthesis. The vertical line test. If no vertical line intersect the graph at more than one point, the curve is the graph of a function. For the first problem, if we understand the scatter plot to be a set of points that are connected, then when we draw the vertical line, we'll have two intercepts. Therefore, one x will have two images. This is not a function. Same thing for the second curve, which has three intercepts. This is not a function. The third one, c, will only have one intercept doesn't matter which way you draw the vertical the vertical line therefore c passed the vertical line test so c is a function and d also will pass the vertical line test only one intercept and d is also a function